We will now begin an entirely new part of the course and in this part of the course we will start to implement some coding best practices because your site works but the code is very repetitive and that makes it very hard to maintain. So in this part of the course we will talk about how you can reuse the code that you have written. If you are already into programming, you certainly know why reusing code is a good thing. But if you are new to programming, it may not be that obvious. So let's talk about it for a while. You know that developing good code takes time. And for companies, time is money. So if you can reuse a piece of code that you have written, you will speed up the development of your application and ultimately you will make more money. Also, reusing code improves the application reliability. If you have written a piece of code and you know that that piece of code is running great because you have tested and debugged that piece of code very thoroughly, well, you can safely reuse that piece of code that you know is working fine, so your application at the end will be more reliable. Also, reusing code facilitates the application maintenance. If you have a bug, and that will always happen. Well, if you implement some code reuse techniques, it will be easier to track down the issue and to solve the problem because you will have to update and to fix only one piece of code that you reuse throughout your application. Reusing code also allows for code sharing among developers. There are some websites out there when other ColdFusion developers share the code that they have written. And you can, if you come up with a great piece of code that you know is working fine, you can share that with the other developers of the community. Reusing code also enables object-oriented programming. And object-oriented programming, OOP, is a programming technique that is used for all the modern web applications and also all the modern software. So the development today uses object-oriented techniques and code reuse is at the heart of the object-oriented programming techniques. So how can you reuse the code now in ColdFusion? You have different techniques for that. The first technique is the cfinclude tag and that tag allows you to include the content of a file inside of another file. It's the easiest way to start reusing your code and it, this is what we will do in the next video. You can also extend the ColdFusion language with your own tags. So you know that CFML contains a lot of tags. We have seen some of those tags together, CFSet, CFIF, CFOutput, and so on. Well, you can create your own tags and extend the ColdFusion language with your own tags. If you can do that with tags, you can also do that with functions. You know that CFML contains a bunch of functions. We have used some of them together date format, struct key exists, and so on, well, you can create your own user-defined function, the UDFs. Now, the ultimate feature of ColdFusion for code reuse is the ColdFusion component. So, so far, we have worked with .cfm pages. In this part of the course, we will introduce the .cfc file, and you will see how those ColdFusion components can be used to reuse your code. In this part of the course, we will cover those four features one by one, and we will start in the next video with the CF include tag.